Earth Science Folds and Faults What can we see on the Earth's surface that's a result of convection in the mantle? The flowing movements cause the lithosphere to be in constant but very slow motion. But slow over geologic time can cause large-scale and dramatic changes in the Earth's crust. Rocks in the crust that are under stress from the moving lithosphere can fold and break. Compressive stresses cause rocks to fold, creating anticlines and synclines. When the stress is greater than the strength of the rock, the rock will break, forming faults. The block of rock on one side of the fault has a different name than the other block. The terms foot wall and hanging wall were used by miners because one could hang a lamp on a hanging wall and one could stand on a foot wall. If the hanging wall block moves up relative to the foot wall block, the fault is called a reverse fault. Reverse faults occur in a geologic setting that is compressive stress, where the crust is being shortened. In such a setting, the rocks will usually fold first and then break. If the hanging wall moves down, the fault is called a normal fault. Normal faults form in a geologic setting where tension dominates, where the crust is being stretched and lengthened. If the force is neither compression nor tension, but horizontally, side to side, a strike-slip fault forms. Probably the most well-known strike-slip fault is the San Andreas Fault in California. Question. We know that the San Andreas Fault is the most well-known transform fault. But where do most transform faults occur? Onward. Mm -hmm.